Hello everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I will explain how can we read or parse an XML file in Java. So we'll first talk about the different elements that we can have in XML file. Then we'll talk about the different parsers that we have in Java, like DOM parsers, and then we have got the SAX parser, and then we'll write Java program to read an XML file. Alright guys, so that being said, let's begin the video. Okay guys, so very first thing we have to first understand the XML file. I have already mentioned the color coding. The very first tag which you see here highlighted in red, it's called company and here is the end tag, right? So the very first tag is known as root element, okay? Then we have got some tags highlighted in blue like staff, first name, last name, nickname, salary and all. These are known as element nodes, okay? And the value which you see in black color text like Trishan, Barva, Kabu and uh, this amount, right? This, these are known as text nodes, okay? And the thing which you see in yellow like id and currency are known as attributes now as we will talk about the parsers so in java we have got an inbuilt parser it's called dom parse dom parser is little bit slow it takes little bit of time because it loads the entire xml document in memory all right and on the other hand we have got something called sax parser which is very good when we have a large document it is faster than dom and it uses less memory okay but in this video we'll talk about the built-in java parser it's called dom parser all right guys it's time for a demo let me start the id and then we'll start writing the code all right guys i already have a project here called try it out i'm going to create a new java class and i'll call it read xml file okay i want to have a main click on finish all right guys before we go and start writing the code right let me just explain our xml file first okay so guys here's my xml file where i have got a root element it's called company then we have got customer information we have got so many other attributes or nodes basically like first name last name nickname gender email then we have got uh, book information so basically you can think of like this is the customer who has placed an order a book basically and then we have got book id and then book information like author name title gender price publish date some description okay then we have got the order information order date delivery date and then we have got the shipping information so basically this xml document you can have a very big one as well like i have got uh, 10 20 elements but you can have 100 as well right? now in our example we are going to focus that i just want to read very few tags like for example i just want to read the first name or say i just want to read the shipping address or i just want to read the parcel code like i don't want to process the entire xml file just want to read a particular tag right? that is our motto in this video all right name of our xml file is abc.xml it is on my c drive here you can see c xml and then abc.xml all right so let's go back to the id we will start with say file name private static final string let's call it file name equals to c colon xml slash abc xml basically here is the xml file path okay now guys first of all we need a document builder factory so we have to create an object of document builder factory so for that document document builder factory let's call it factory only and then equals to how can we create an instance of document builder factory so guys document builder factory dot then there is a function called new instance so this particular function will return the instance or object of document builder factory okay next thing what we need we need a document builder document builder so let's see how can we have the object of document builder so document builder document builder and i'll call it let's go with builder only equals to so guys i'm going to use of make use of factory the object of factory dot new document builder right so i'm not doing anything we already have a inbuilt functions or methods that we are using now it says that there can be an exception so obviously we have to surround this with a with a try catch cool now guys next thing we have to parse the xml file right so xml file how can we do that so for that we'll use document document equals to let's go and use the builder object dot it has a function called pass and then we have to pass the file name so it's gonna be like new file and then file name let me just go and import this document which is from org w3c dot dom because we are using dom parser it says an exception so okay can you just add exception to the existing catch can we just get the root element first let's get the root element how can we get element and then let me just import this element first not swing sorry guys you have to be very much careful here so import right i have to import org dot w3c dot dom this element class okay and then let's call it root element equals to i'm using document dot get 
document element let me do one thing i am just going to switch out the root element let me just see if i can so root element equals to root element dot get and then we have a function called node name simple right so what we have done so far is we have first created the object of document builder factory and then we have used document builder factory to get the object of document builder then we are using that builder to parse our xml file that we have passed here right and then we have fetched the root element let me run this program and then let's see the result okay so the root element is company let's go and verify that's true right the root element of our xml file is company guys our intention is what i want to do is i just want to pass a tag and then i want to get the value tag name say for example from this xml i want to get the first name can you give me the first name first okay so i'll just pass the tag here first name so what i want to do is string tag value equals to i'm going to create a function here let's call it tag get tag value i'll pass two things one is the root element okay and the tag name so uh, i'll pass tag name comma root element i want this function to give me the value of this particular tag from the xml file okay so let me just create the function okay it's here we take a node list node list let's call it node list equals to how can we get the node list we'll use our root element dot there is a function called get element by tag name and the tag name is that we are passing let's go and import the node list again from org.w3c.dom happy so what we'll do we'll just put a check here if this list is not null get length is greater than zero then i'll process node list let's call it sub list equals to node list dot uh, item i'll pass a zero index that from the very first item get there is function called child nodes okay now we have to make sure that this list sub list is not null and has got some value so sub list is not equals to null and sub list dot get length is greater than zero let's return the value return from sub list dot then again item index zero then dot get node value is a function okay this is too much to understand so let me just do one thing can i just go and get let's just print this this out okay so tag name equals to this is the tag plus and uh, say value equals to tag value okay let's run so what i'm expecting is that i'm calling this function get tag value where i pass the tag name and the root element and then the logic is here i will explain this one more time in a minute first let's go run our code and then let's see the result how it behaves at the moment so what do you see tag name is first name and then value is trishan which is absolutely right first time has got a value but just say that i want to fetch the email can i get the email please so what i will do i'll simply go and update this value that i want to read the value of tag called email from the xml file so which is here java next level at the rate gmail.com guys the intention is that we can have an xml document having hundreds or more attributes or elements and we just want to read few right we don't want to process the entire xml document that is where this program will come into picture right for example can you give me the order date please so what i will do i'll just go back here i'll just pass the tag name let me run the program okay tag name is order date and values here it is which is right correct now guys this is the very simple example where we are passing one tag and getting the value right but in reality we may have to read from out of 100 elements i want to read five so what i will do for that let me just go and create an array static final i'm going to have a string array and let's call it tag list equals to and then say email also i want to read and then similarly i'll take the order date can you give me the order date as well i think good enough we have got enough attributes to fetch so what i am going to do we are going to make use of a map here map will have key and value so key is going to be my tag and then value is going to be the value tag value okay let's call it tag value map equals to i want to have a function here get tag value map and what i want to pass i want to pass a tag list here and the root element simple let me just go and import the sky from java.util we don't have a function called get tag value map right so let's go and create okay we have our function here now what i want to do a tag from the list and then pass it to this particular function so what i will do here let me just go and use a for loop integer i equals to zero i is less than what tag list dot that is function called length and then i plus plus okay let's go and create a map to hold this key value pair string 
a string say map equals to uh, a hash map right new hash map new hash map having a string and then another string let's go and import hash map we've got a map to store our values so what i want to do tag i already have from this list right so what i will do a string tag equals to from tag list uh, because this is an array so i'll just pass the index i okay and tag value equals to now i can go and make use of this function get tag value what i will do i have to pass two things right one is tag okay tag name let's call it same tag name okay and i have to pass the root element okay so i'm calling the same function i'm reusing the same function existing function right and here what i will do i will use my map and then let's call put i will pass the tag value tag name and tag value in this map and what i want to return is our map this is cool how can we verify so what i will do i will just write a sys out here and then out and then can we just print here tag value map okay guys let's revise we have created one array having all the tags and then we have introduced a new function called get tag value map we have passed the tag list and the root element so i'm just iterating through the tag list here okay passing it as an element to the get tag value function and key and value pair in the map okay so let me just go and run and let's see the result how it looks like now so guys what do you got first name trishan sip city is toronto title is java developers guide email java next level at the gmail.com and order it right so basically the point is we are getting what we are supposed to all right all right guys thank you for watching